Hey guys. So we, we are coming up on the Halloween here in the US. I don't know, honestly, I don't know how many other countries celebrate it. So <laughs> I might be showing my ignorance, but anyway, just like always, well, once before, I guess I should say, <laughs> I'm gonna do a pumpkin carving cause I, you know, why not, right? So let's start that off right by going to a pumpkin patch. Oh, I'm digging on this one right here, folks. Ooh, those are sharp. Yeah, I just learned that too. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good pumpkin. All right. He's flat on one side. Ooh. So that's a good pumpkin. Hopefully this footage is usable. It's so freaking windy right now. Oh my gosh, it's windy. Oh, that's a good one. Nice and big. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna be carving this one, folks. I think that's that's one that I need in my life. Alexis, I need the knife. I, yeah, that's a good one right there. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, that one is super sharp. I don't know how many we really need to. Oh, Alexis, look how pretty. Look how green this one is. Yeah, but this one's like half and half. And it's like all veiny and marbled. It's super pretty. All right, we might need to learn how to... St oh, I love the shape of this one. That is so cool. All right, I might want that one just because I feel like he might get neglected. He deserves a home that loves him. Don't let me forget that one on the way back, people. I'm holding you to that. Don't let me forget. I don't know where she's going. We've got like so much weight in pumpkins, we really should probably stop grabbing them. So windy. Holy wind. All right, well, I think we need to learn how to say stop. Because there's a lot of weight in pumpkins right here. Alrighty, that part's done. Nice and gutted. <laughs> I did this as a joke last year in last year's pumpkin carving video, and I will never use anything else again. This is the best pumpkin gutting tool you can possibly get your hands on. Quahog clam. <laughs> I actually took my diamond plates and gave it a kind of a sharp edge, and my gosh, I, I gutted this entire pumpkin in two minutes. It's amazing. I love these things so much. They're amazing for gutting pumpkins. So I'm planning on doing multiple pumpkins this year and they're gonna be pretty intense. The last one especially is gonna be pretty intense. So I definitely wanna get some practice in before we get to that part. So I think we're gonna do an easier one to start with. And you know, what screams Halloween more than dolphins? <laughs> So, we're doing this one a bit different than your standard pumpkin. This is gonna be a relief style. So, if I can get this thing open, maybe. Ah, yeah, there we go. We're gonna get our, oh, grab too many. No! <laughs> we are going to cut this out, make it pretty deep, and then we come up to the dolphin, and then we just carve the dolphin like I would carve wood, and it's a lot easier for me. So we've got 
got this all nice and leveled down, which means we have a good thickness to work with. So we can actually start carving up our dolphin and it might make way more sense now as to why I was picking such huge pumpkins because you need a pretty thick pumpkin to be able to, to pull these kinds of carvings off. If you, if you don't have very thick walls, you really can't go too deep and to get it right, yeah, you wanna go pretty deep. So yeah, I guess from here, we're just gonna carve this as I would carve anything else, except without my Dremel. <laughs> pretty well. Really quick too, actually. Did not take me very much time. And as I said before, this was practice. Because <laughs> the main carving of this video is going to be pretty intense and I wanted to get my relief carving well under control before I actually dive into it. It's the kind of thing where you don't just just jump into a really, really intense carving. You kind of work your way up to it, especially with something like a pumpkin. If it was just wood, yeah, I carve wood all the time. Or stone, yeah, I carve stone all the time. <laughs> I only carve pumpkins once a year. <laughs> so, you know, the first one is basically just to remember how to do it. <laughs> and then from there, yeah, you can do more intense stuff. All right, so here's all the ones I didn't record. Alexis did this one this one, and that nervous one right there, and then I did Mr. Sinister and Chomping Guy. Hey, I did this one too. Oh yeah, and she did the the unfortunate soul that is getting eaten by Chomping Guy. I love the fact that she made a nervous one to put in between the two evil ones. And I love her mountain range, isn't that awesome? You drew the outline for me. I did do that, you're right. I drew the picture, she carved it. But yeah. This one, I'm honestly mad that I didn't record this doing this one because it came out so well. <laughs> it looks so cool. Yeah, I was honestly really happy with this one. This one came out really well. Nice and evil looking. Yeah, they all look pretty good, I'd say. Alrighty, so. <laughs> you'll see in a moment why I wanted to get a little practice in first. We've got my big boy pumpkin right here. That's actually a really big one. And we're gonna be carving something pretty intense. <laughs> it's gonna take quite a bit of time, so I wanna get going ASAP, because yeah, that's gonna take some time. But it's gonna be really cool, so yeah, let's get to it. Oh my gosh, you guys, so I just got ready to cut the top off and I was wondering why the heck I was having so much troubles with it. I could not have picked a better pumpkin for this purpose. Look at how thick that thing is. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the perfect pumpkin for this. Heck yes, that is awesome. Alrighty, so as you can see, we've got it really, really backed off now, so we should be able to get going on the skull. I might be about to do something very stupid, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. <laughs> it's actually working remarkably well, which is kind of really irritating because of all of the pumpkins I have carved in my life with tools, but I am literally spattering pumpkin everywhere. So I think I need to put a mask on.
Alrighty, well, it's done, and I think it actually looks fantastic. That's so funny that the the rotary tool worked so well for this application. It made a mess that I'm going to spend days cleaning up, but hey, I'd say the end result was worth it. All the detail on those teeth came out just perfect. Oh, they look so good. So happy about that. Seriously, I... I <laughs> Knowing I could have used my rotary tool this whole time is very frustrating because I would have been using it like, literally this entire time. Alrighty, well, I was planning on doing three pumpkins for this video, but I am afraid of how long it might get. Plus, I ran into a problem last year with my pumpkin video that <laughs> I released it on the 30th. And yeah, that means you have one day where people are actually looking for, you know, pumpkin videos. So, I want to avoid that this time. I want to get this out early. So... Yeah, I think we're gonna call it there. If this video was something you enjoyed, definitely consider subscribing. We have a whole lot more of content like this, well, not exactly like this, coming out very regularly. Um, I Wow, my, my end video spiel is all wrong for this one, because normally I would say if you would like to find, if you would like to buy some of these things for yourself, check out my Etsy store. I'll have a link to that in the description, but you can't exactly buy these because I'm sure they'd be rotten by the time you got them. But anyway, <laughs> if you want an awesome place to share your finds and projects and whatever with fellow rockhounds, definitely check out my Facebook group, Look What I Found. It's awesome. This was just a blast, and if you haven't yet, go out to your local farmer's markets and pumpkin patches because they're so much fun. Way better than going to Walmart or Albertsons and picking one up out of the bin. Seriously, just, just go do it. It's fun. And it helps support local communities, which is just an added bonus. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking, because it helps spread it around so more people can see it. And leave me a comment if you want to. <laughs> Love having conversations with all of you guys. In last year's video, <laughs> which, you know, it didn't get that many views at all. That many. <laughs> I made the very, very, you know premature promise that if this video if that video hit 500 likes I would carve an entire pumpkin from start to finish with a quahog I think we actually have a real chance of doing that this year so if this video gets 500 likes I will do one pumpkin with nothing but quahog clam and also an agate knife that I am planning on making at some point just like the one I made for agate angler go check out his channel if you haven't let's you have let's face it <laughs> anyway that's gonna do it for this one hope you all enjoyed